What is systematic way of doing work? First is what. People generally know what they must do. Clarity about what is the first step in doing anything systematically. You should be able to answer what I must do, what decisions I must take, what actions I have to take. Answering these questions will give you the direction for actions. It is logical that before doing anything, you must know what you have to do. Once you have answered this question, then you know about the decisions and necessary actions you should take to support your decisions. Second is why. Answer why we must do it. We need to enjoy doing it. The next powerful step of systematic work is to answer the why for your actions. The objective of this step is to understand the true purpose of your decisions. The identified purpose of your actions must be connected to your bigger goals and mission. Without knowing the why of your decisions, it is difficult to get motivated for your actions. You need to be convinced logically and emotionally too. Third is results. Answer what results you want to achieve. The next part is to get clarity about the decisions to be achieved. Any action must have the clearly defined outcomes without which the effectiveness of your actions would be affected. Your focus on results can make you more productive as you can identify better options for achieving the same results with minimal efforts and resources. It is to be noted that the results to be achieved must have the required quality. Fourth point is the deadlines. Know about the deadlines to be achieved. The next step is to know the time duration for completing the required task with design results. The meaning of deadline is the point in time at which something must be completed. A deadline is generally specified in terms of a date and time. People working on deadlines plan harder to meet their deadlines of work. They tend to work backwards from the end point to calculate available time for each subtask. The main task is broken down into several subtasks and sub-deadlines for better management. The best way to meet the deadlines is to set systems and rules and follow them with a strict discipline to meet the sub-deadlines of the parts of the main task. Once we meet the sub-deadlines, we will be able to easily meet our deadline. Fifth part is the confidence. Self-confidence and the belief on your abilities are the necessary component to achieve the results. Confidence is an essential element for actions and getting results, without which you would be weak and confused. Quality of results is generally directly proportional to the sincerity and confidence of the person. Sixth part is the feedback. This is the final step in which the feedback of actions and performance is sincerely taken. You must take your self-feedback and also the feedback from other people. Based on feedback analysis, you should make required modifications in your actions to learn and improve. Let's understand what productivity is not. It is not about trying for something but to achieve goals, that is results. There is a difference between trying, doing or achieving something. The first two focus on actions, while the third one focuses on results. Your focus must be on the results, which should dictate your actions and decisions. People may try to fool themselves and others by showing irrelevant actions, which are neither required nor sufficient. The objective of Karu is to achieve the required results productively. Make results as your driving force. Performance is not about using trickery or deception to do an activity. Being productive does not mean using deceit or any other wrong philosophy. It simply means utilizing the time efficiently based on the conditions and the resources available to get the desired outcomes. People sometimes wrongly assume being productive is trickery. Instead, it is commitment, discipline and the skills. Any work should never support using immoral means to achieve results. 
In the heat of getting the output, some people may engage in immoral activities. For example, taking the credit of another person's efforts. When we talk about productivity and performance through Karu, in no way we are referring to any moral activity involved. It is to be understood that any moral and illegal activity will always lead to failure and problems. It is not about changing the definition of results. That is by drastically reducing it to show your achievement. For example, instead of specifying the original sales target of $1 million, a person reduces it by 60% to show that the target is achieved. But it is neither helping you nor the organization in any way. Some people may think about changing the definition of results and outcomes to show the achievement may work, but it never works. This is the part of trickery, which is wrong and irrational. Trickery never adds value to anybody. Instead, it breaks trust and creates problems. Karu is not only about achieving the results, but also about maintaining the quality of results. All achieved results must have the desired quality. Results without expected quality would lead to rejection and loss. For example, if a software is developed before time, but it remains unusable and unsellable due to large number of bugs, then it has no meaning. In the haste of getting the results, the quality of outcomes should never reduce in any way. Output without quality is a failure. And the last point is, Karu strongly believes in learning from mistakes and failures. If a mistake is repeated, then it becomes a blunder. It is not about repeating the same mistakes, instead learning from your actions and improving it next time. The best way to grow is to learn from your previous mistakes and correcting them, to do it better next time. Let's understand the myths associated with performance and time management systems. A lot of people have many misconceptions about the performance management systems. The first one is to use technology, that is hardware and software to become productive. Technology is a boon to human beings and they contribute a lot to make people productive. We can take the example of transportation system, communication systems and data processing. Sometimes it is assumed that usage of technology can make a person more productive just by using the technology. That is the reason people invest money in buying hardware, softwares and different types of devices. It is to be understood that to enhance the performance of a person, change in behavior, attitude and living philosophy is required rather than anything external to the person. Technology can only provide tools for support. It cannot magically make a person productive. Second myth is to buy a specific productivity product from the market to drastically raise productivity. That never happens. The market is flooded with books, tools and systems claiming performance improvement. People get attracted towards them without understanding that they may be buying snake oil instead of something of value. Though the suggestions and techniques offered by some of the books and systems are effective, but any generic system will not work for all the people. It has to be personalized based on the specific conditions and challenges of the person. The third myth is you need to force yourself for it. We all know that to become productive, we need to put extensive efforts to enhance performance. Many people try to force themselves by utilizing external forces like making their friends and family take the responsibility to make them productive. That also never works. Even the top organizations of the world work on self-motivation of their employees instead of forcing rules on them to digest. It is to be understood that external force can work up to a limit but after that, your self-motivation needs to take the responsibility of making you productive. Before looking for any external force, it is better to work on your self-motivation to make yourself productive. And the last myth is, some people are at the other end of the spectrum. They believe that people cannot improve. If they have low productivity, then their performance will always be bad. They cannot learn. They cannot improve. That is again a myth. People can become better if they decide and they take actions for it.